Hello world, Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of Minecraft Invasion. So, when we last left off, we were in this nice little cozy hovel, and the night is starting to come upon us. And I think we're going to want to branch out of this area, hopefully in a non-stupid way, and continue onwards to get some more materials. Now, the thing that I should note is the fact that I am... While well, sorely missing some of the materials that would probably provide useful for my endeavors. For instance, all the iron, I want to make some actual uh, chest plates, like this tin chest plate. I'm not exactly a tin man. Don't call me a tin man, etc. Uh, so I did read through the quests a bit. I know that I need sugar, some dirt, because I can get some bugs, which is going to be lovely for my food source. And I can make a shield. Sorry, I got a shield, thankfully. Didn't have to craft it. I can get a regular shield from that. I can get torches from this. And I can get an iron chest upgrade from that. And I think I'll go with the medical kit thing there. Uh, let's just upgrade this because I think I might as well keep this as my base of operations for the time being and I don't really want to sort my inventory at this current juncture. So we got a medical crate airdrop request and I think this gives me the ability to get medikit. Now let us see. I probably want to keep this but the medkit. If I hold right click, okay, it's healing, but that is notably slower than the healing salve. Don't know if it goes past this. Okay, it does go past, so it's not smart like I thought it would be. Then again, it is good to have in a pinch. So I can make healing salve for about a heart's worth or this which is worth 20 uses. It might be 21 because of how Minecraft does its durability but we'll see about that. So we got that working. I'm gonna need some clay so that I can continue that and I'm also going to need string. 3 string, 16 sugar cane, 16 dirt which is easy and 16 clay balls as well as stuff for a can opener. Now I do know that this has a vein miner type thing and I already bound the key so if I press and hold O while mining I can mine the ever loving crud out of this building however that might not actually be good because the structural integrity is a bit shoddy now. Ah <sighs> man. And also they might find their way in and also my crude hatchet is not exactly good right now. But I also did... Sorry, it's not that I learned, but in the book it did state that if I use a higher efficiency axe while I'm chopping this down, I should be able to get more out of this. Okay, I got three per log instead of the two per log as gang with the hatchet. So if I do this, I'll be able to get enough stuff for me to uh, patch up this place so that monsters can't enter. I think that's going to be good enough for now. So I'll patch up this place. I think I'm going to... Oof. Fudge, fudge, fudge. It's not good. I'll patch up this place. And then I will dig a few more rocks. So I have some stuff for me to work with tomorrow. Since, as we learned, cobblestone is made with clay and rocks. And I got... Well, I got a few rocks, but I'm going to need more. So I'll be back when morning comes, and then we can plan our next, well, plan of attack. Okay, so I think I found a good way to cut logs. I just have to right-click with my log in offhand until it finally places one. Hope I don't overplace so that I place on top of the thing, which will not exactly be the best since it just falls off because of structural integrity. But this is netting me with a healthy amount of those uh, planks. So let's get a stack of planks. Okay, this is losing durability. That is kind of good and kind of bad. So I did do a bit of looking up, and apparently I can make some crossbow bolts, which 
crossbows, rather, and I'm going to make a crossbow... Well, I already made some wooden bolts from it. I found some flint from the stone while I was digging out these rocks, so that does make sense. But I am going to be... Well, need to be careful because I'm not sure at how effective these things are. Let's put the quick healing salve on my bar. Chalk dust. I'm gonna chalk that up to not being good. Seems I need polished stone in order to make the crossbow. The stone crossbow at any least. At any rate, rather. And it seems we have quite the posse congregating out here, so I'm gonna have to be careful when I exit this place. So it might mean that I need to make some trips back in order to drop off all the stuff that I am not in any need of. Med kit for not serious healing. I'll put blocks on the bar. Don't know if I need anything else on the bar at this juncture. Uh, I guess we'll put food there and then we'll get ready to go. So this guy don't think he has the reach to get me. And I am going to be careful because I know that if I spam right click from my first season, it sometimes doesn't register a hit even though it was supposed to do a low damage hit if we were talking about vanilla physics. Uh, so I'm going to have to be nice and tempoed with my swings. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, let's try this. Ew, this blocks a lot of the lot of stuff. It seems like you were a redstone lover and you took my gold. No, you actually took my gold. I a book here, though. I think that's all the stuff at the front, at least. So let's see. We got a drill core. Which sounds like it'll be useful. Some gold, rotten flesh. Can you spare a moment for our lord and savior Notch? Might want to look that up. I don't want to use something that may prove very useful in the future just because of my curiosity. Then again, this is supposed to be a quote-unquote blind playthrough of this pack, so it might be uh, worthwhile. So, medical crate right over there. So let's pick you up. Uh, it seems to be going away. We got two people over there, which is fine. Got some piranhas that are in the water. Also fine. Maybe if I can skirt around this way. I lost track of the airdrop. It's probably lost in the woods by now. Woods, considering that this place is not exactly full of wood, I shouldn't be too worried about this. It might give me an opportunity to find some of the other air drops in the interim. Did I lose that? Nope, there it is. Right click. Can't pick that up by a right click, but it did give me a med kit. Signal has been intercepted by the enemy. Okay, that is an interesting thing. So maybe if it's... Oh, hi. Uh, lag? Uh, yeah, that was lag. And that's an explosion. It doesn't seem like... Huh, must have been a cluster bomb of... S Okay, must have been a lot of different things, though. But that sucks. I lost out on a medkit because of that. Uh, it doesn't seem like it does too much damage. Maybe these are uh, too heavily armored for it to be any use at this point. Anyways, I don't think I went there, so that might be useful. Uh, bugs I will eventually need, but I guess not right now. I want to go for the stuff that I know has a use. And I can collect the stuff that I don't, well, the other stuff at a later point in time. So speaking of, I need to have this dirt for my quest. This dirt might not actually count, though. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure it won't count. That's only 12. Let's look for the dirt here. No, it needs to be regular dirt, I think. I saw you. Don't think I didn't see you. Thank you. Uh, dirt. Coarse dirt. Or podzol. Okay, so this sandy dirt is not going to cut it. Character head might be useful at a later juncture, but I'm just going to go, like I said, for the useful stuff in the meantime. 
Well, I figure out all the other stuff. There should be that should be regular dirt over there. And there's a guy with a sword over here. So let's raid this place and I should keep an eye out for all of those lovely containers. That's a village over there. I can't remember if I saw that before. Uh die. Thank you. Now how heavily defended are these types of structures? I know the bigger ones must be defended, but I don't see anything on the mini-map that tells me that that place is defended. There's something over here. Invaders! And there's a lot of holes around this place. Especially with some ore, I think, down there. Copper ore. Ooh, my Excalibur increase in level. So let's put that waypoint there. Copper ore. Possible copper ore there. We got a crafting bench here with gray rune, black quartz, name tag. Might be useful for trading. Oh my god. You're right, it has been really excavated. So I guess we'll look with this thing here, and then we'll go further to the north and try to get all that stuff. Remember that we don't have much time left. Uh, is this regular dirt? No, it isn't. It's sandy stuff. We don't have much time left in the day in order to do all this gallivanting about, so we're going to have to make post haste. Post haste, good sir! And get everything. Uh, continues up. Don't see any spawns there. Ooh, crafting table. Don't see anything else. Good thing that these do stack. Now, I did hear from someone in the comment section that I am able to place crafting tables. However, I can't pick them back up after I break them. Okay, I saw someone going into this building. So I'm going to have to be really careful. That did not look good. I think having the mini-map... I don't know. Do you think that the mini-map is basically required for this type of game? Or is it just an extra thing that's not really... Well, it is useful, yes, but does it ruin the experience? Is another question which I'd like answered. Ooh, I'm running out of food. Uh, so I should not gallivant about too much. This place is tall. Like, really freaking tall. It doesn't have anything else. There's some mines over there, it seems. Some mines over there, it seems. So I am able to mine if I wanted to. Mines over there. Wow, there's basically mines everywhere. <sighs> Sometimes I gotta mine my own business. But anyways, it seems like this was kind of a useless venture, other than two crafting tables. I don't know how useful they're going to be, but for now, I guess they are alright. Let me get to the bottom of this. Real quick! Okay, here we are. So I wanted to make a quick jaunt to the north, because that is where all the other fun stuff air is, rather. I don't think there's really much point right now tackling these invasions guys so well I guess there is a point I'm going to get some resources either way if I do this this place is really dangerous especially because there's so many holes in the ground so it did say in one of the entries that eventually the invasion guys are going to toughen up which does obviously make some perfect sense uh, is this the soil it's still the coarse soil I don't want this I want the actual dirt. Do I have to sieve the dirt or something? Or is this just one of the unfortunate things about this pack? And why am I getting all frame rate for some reason? It's, I should stop gallivanting. Uh, okay, just let's take this calm. And hope that we don't run into thing, anything suspicious. Uh, like a bunch of chests in the middle of the area. Got a gilded hammer might be good and we have an enchanted book a heart bottle that's what I needed for one of the quests that's good and this looks like it's a better house at least aesthetically than the barn I'm in so it might be a good idea to actually use this instead it's also got some wood which I don't think is trapped are there any special chests in here they need to be made aware of yes there's chests 
Okay, some more heart jars. That's a lot of heart jars. Okay, I can make heart golds there. Drill core, chanted sieve, efficiency. Okay, that's weird. And it'll detect, and I can get that, so... Can't get, ooh, this is a good chest. Iron knife, that's a quick thing. Flippers, which I think will increase my speed in the water. We got the drill core again. Drill core. So this is from Actual Editions. Needs a lot of stuff, that seems. Okay, the Actual Edition manual says the drill works like a pickaxe and a shovel. Uses RF. Uh, so this is not something that I will be able to have access to right now. Let's take this for now. We have waiting boots as well. I'm going to need to read up on all this stuff because right now I am a little uh, confused as to what I need to do in that regard. Die! Okay, and it is beginning to become dark again and I didn't waypoint my damn house. That would have been a good idea. So, while I'm waiting for this... Sugarcane! That's great, actually. Uh, will I have to gather, or rather, grow my own sugar cane. Hmm. Might be a good idea to replant this in a non-stupid location, especially since the water doesn't come back. So I am going to... There was a puff of smoke there. And there's that guy over there. Hey! Piranha! Come on! Ah! Oh, fudger! Hello! Piranha! Ooh! Fish out of water! And you're all dead. I think blocking actually required stamina. So that's something to note. If I block too much, I won't be able to actually do stuff. Okay. Might be that I was out of stamina now that I think of it the other times that I was uh, swinging my sword. So it's something that I will need to keep in mind. Seems like a blocked out house and things on fire. Literally a blocked out house. Oh god. Uh, okay, so I can't do that. Let's get this bed because I think this was part of a quest. Oh god. Okay. Let's be smart about this way. I got some plaster there. My inventory is completely full with human remains. Got this bed. Unbreaking, we took to see. This is something I'm going to have to keep in mind. There's someone over there, and the lag is not helping. Die. Okay. And there's things coming that way. From that way, rather. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Guess we'll take the cobwebs. There are things over here. Coppers, you can't get me now! I refuse to obey to your raw laws and ideal realities, etc, etc, etc. Anarchy, blarg, anarchy. Yeah, anarchy. Okay. And I should not forget the fact that I was supposed to be here for some freaking clay. And I managed to get my inventory clogged and a bunch of useless stuff that's probably not going to be all useful. Wither web, sag mill, uh, so this is actually basically pointless. Uh, nothing around me, of course, dirt away here. Minus 13 durability, that's always lovely. Minus 13 durability on here also. Does that mean it cannot be broken or something? We might as well uh, wade through and give these a try. Nothing can hurt, at least. Oh, bed. Hmm. What happens if I sleep? Oh, it only sets a spawn. Okay. Which is not helpful here. At least not for me. Okay, so let's pick this up. Uh, no. Hi! Oh god, there's a screamer. Don't like screamers. Okay, let's go here. And this is much better. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Come into my abode. Okay, so now that there are no piranhas here, huh. That had a weird drop-off. That was very weird. Okay, this has an unreliable amount of drop-off. Then again, I might not have pulled it back all the way since I'm not used to the crossbow. 
Let's see what we have here. Got some more of this goodness. I'm already out of inventory room. Uh, took this. 80 fires I will find. Okay, I think stuff's paused. Let's see if things paused. Okay, pause. I'm looking at the bobbing of that. I'll find before the... 80 fires I will find before the giant. All the giants take... Deo Dal, so pray the angels. We held tremendous villages before we call coldness. We endure but only for a while. These mountains I high. Blizzards envision mountains like slow. Okay. Don't think I'm going to need this anytime soon. Seems a little weird. And spiritually or stuff like that. Tin and some food. As well as some nickel, which I don't have the room for. Uh, now I do. Okay, so we found some things, and I think I might be able to pick these up. So that's some extra peripheral stuff that I won't be able to use right now. Okay, I have to make some bad or hard decisions right now, because I will want these for inventories, especially if I want to make a better house. So it seems that, uh, okay, that was at least fruitful in the sense that I got some stuff. Got these boots, which are quite good. I got a bunch, hmm, okay, I'm gonna have to run home. If I, if anything exciting happens on the way home, that'll be good. And, well, I don't know if it'd actually be the best thing in the world, considering the predicament I'm in. Actually, it's not a bad predicament right now, considering that I managed to get some stuff. And I do have some stuff. Then again, we have some screamers going around at me, so I think I am going to need to get home ASAP. Whew, man. Uh, so I'm going to cut away for now, assuming nothing bad happens. And I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, we're back. Uh, nothing too exciting happened, but unfortunately, I'm trying to re renovate this area, and it's not exactly being good. Now, I do say nothing exciting happened. However, I ooh, I can heal by using food. That's something I should have obviously thought of, but I didn't for obvious reasons. Okay, uh, let's get these. The fence posts are basically the thing that held that up. So I am going to want to use that. And I think I am going to have to hollow this place out and actually use it as my base because I'm not going to be able to do anything without a base. I'm just going around and I have a bunch of stuff that I don't want to settle down because I want to find a base, but I'm not going to be able to settle down at all if I don't have a base. Therefore, even if this is temporary, I'm going to have to re-add everything here so that it's more base-like. So that means filling in all of these with the wood that I managed to steal from the A area. So let me fill this in, then I'll fill you in as to what happened that I get everything situated. I think overall this could prove to be a nice place, however I will need to shore, shore up its defenses and get everything good. Okay, I think this is much more open air concept than we originally had. Uh, apparently that's not going to work. I tried to use a hammer, but apparently a hammer is not able to be used for the more delicate operations that a pickaxe can be used for. I guess it kind of makes sense. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense why I can't use that. Anyways, this is a bit more open. I think it will allow me to grow my food in a better capacity. I am going to need a bucket of water, I think. So what is required for a bucket? I should have saw that coming. Iron plates. I need a metal press, or, let's see, iron plate, iron plate, immersive engineering, base metals, or lib. I'm going to need to use immersive engineering in order to do that. Uh, so that's fine, but I, okay, so getting a bucket is going to be very far off, so I can't 
count on that in order to make my crops any better. So I think, I guess for now, I'll put that there, and we'll make a hoe, since we are going to need one of those. Can't make one of these, unfortunately, because I don't have any stone still. So let's make one of these, and let's plant some stuff. So we have some ginger, that might be useful. We have some tea. We might as well basically pr plant everything that we have here. Let's not put everything in there, please. Thank you. Uh, any of the other base materials that we have? We have some carrots, that might be useful. And I think we had some seeds in here. No, we didn't. Or we probably did, but I got rid of them because I'm an idiot. So ginger, tea, got a worm. Uh, not sure what I can do with the worms. Worms are pretty useful. They will, once placed down on dirt or grass, help you till. Okay. Can I place this here? No, I gotta get rid of this. Okay, I have to place it there, I guess. Oh, this is how I can make good farmland. We'll put this there. And we have some worms that will be able to keep everything well done. Okay, that is, I guess, how we are going to build some stuff around here. Cocoa, I don't think I can plant on these. Only jungle saplings or jungle wood, logs, things, uh, stuff, things, I don't know, miscellaneous stuff. And I think that is good. Now, this is actually dirt, so I can pick this up. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Minecraft Invasion. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. Something tells me I have a battle ahead of me in the next one. Oh, that is nice. Nice, nice, nice. We have time here. Signing off. I hope you have a wonderful day because I have a feeling mine is not going to be.